So, where are we today then? Well, it's Sunday afternoon, evening really, sun's getting low. There's planes in the sky, which is a bit of a giveaway. And we have a boat, which is even more of a giveaway. We're back on the island lake. It's just opened, it shuts for only a couple of weeks for the sort of changeover of the ticket, if you like. At the very last minute, literally, I was packing my gear this morning, didn't know where I was going. I had been fishing another water, but I haven't done any fish yet. At the last second, I thought, do you know what? I fancy a bit of island fishing. So, I checked the battery, had some life in it, and the engine works, and the echo, and everything else. Loaded up, threw it in the van. And we're here, fishing on the wind, right at the far end of the island lake. I haven't seen any, um, but it looks nice. The wind's just dropped off actually, it's been blowing in here quite strong. And um, a further along the bank is another swim. Be quick while that plane deafens us. A sort of end swim, and Mozza's in there, and he's seen quite a few. Right down in that corner, in that bay, in the sort of middle of the screen there. Right, it's a, it's quite a tight swim for filming, to be honest. <laughs> Camera's in the bushes over there, trying to get some angle on the actual swim. So, and it's very, very bright. So you just have to get what you get at the moment. Everything's just a complete heap. Rods are out there. That's the main thing. It's quite a deep swim. It's, um, they featureless, it sort of rolls up and down a little bit. 15, 14, I found 11 for one and 13 for the other two, so it sort of undulates, if you like, it's a good word, isn't it? <coughs> um, yeah, it's not an awful lot out here, but in the Aprils, it, so this is third week of April now, it's just opened at the weekend, um, it's only shut for two weeks, I'd say, just for the changeover of the tickets. But this will be the third time I've been here in April. So when I joined two years ago, um, we see a lot of fish, me and Moz, in this area. These sort of two swims here. And again, last April, it's all a bit of confusion, isn't it, because of the um, COVID thing, and it was all a bit, you know, whenever. But anyway, two springs here has held fish. And historically, as well, it's quite a good area for them to start in. So, yeah, hopeful, just sort of got the rods out, and it's all about looking tomorrow morning, really. I'll be moving, you know I will. If I haven't seen anything by about seven o'clock, I'll probably be loaded up and off in the boat somewhere. There's a few people on. It's not, not massively busy, but there's some key areas taken. Um, as you'd expect, you know, new ticket, new members, what have you. But it's not too bad. Mate over there, opposite, caught a fish this afternoon, just after I turned up, only a small one. So there's chances. But we've got some shit to sort out. We've got a barbecue to light as well. We should do that first, really, shouldn't we? A new barbecue. Stainless steel, I tell you. Cost a bloody fortune. Hope it's as good as they say. It comes from Germany. S-Bit is the make. Little cube thing. Unfortunate thing is it takes four little screws in the bottom to put the bottom plate on, so how long before I lose four little screws, eh? Not long. I will wager. Not long at all. You seem like a long way off, all of you lot. Do you want to come over here? Come join me. Come get me closer, shall we? Shall we cosy up a bit? Turn my screen round so I can see what you're seeing, whatever that might be. It's terrible light, isn't it? Absolutely awful light. And I've broken my tripod, one of the legs is 
wobbling about all over the place. Can we see anything there? Possibly. Blinding. So yeah, he just folds out and then these four little screws hold a plate on the bottom. I did use it once the other day and thought, ah, you don't need that plate on the bottom. But you do, because that's what stops it twisting with the heat. And that's it, there he is. Little Barbie. Could do with a stand. I'm going to have to get my mate Chrisser, the man who can, to make me a stand for it. That's sort of, it's, a, it's like a two-tier swim, this. That's the upper level. <laughs> it's upstairs. And then... Da -da, do, 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 do. We go upstairs. We can see downstairs. So, upstairs, downstairs. Might be a bit bright that way. Ooh. Wrong way, always the wrong way, isn't it? Living accommodation, cooking accommodation, bedroom, kitchen. So, a little tidy up. Get some sort of bite alarms on the go. We'll be new stainless. I've got yet yet more new stainless. Got the new solar stainless with the little. Like some screw things rather than cams. I do prefer, I prefer them. You can lock them up real tight. Yeah. In bed. Oh. Oh. It's all going it. You know what? Let's not all go. Let's not rush around like a lunatic. Let's do the more sensible option. Let's sit on this little stump. And have a nice cold cider. The camera doesn't even seem to be looking in my direction. Can you even see me there? There, now you can. Cheers, people. To a new season. I have no idea what I'm doing this year, by the way. Venue-wise none whatsoever I'm waiting for a couple of new hopefully tickets that I think start in June there were three but I found out that one of them I haven't got already so now we're down to two one I really want it's going to be really hard but it's got some incredible fish in there that's the least likely one to be available and the other one's uh, another big lake in the Lee Valley which I'd quite like to fish as well but I haven't been very well organized this year I haven't got an awful lot of tickets I thought I did but now when it comes to it I don't know but I've always got this so. and there's a 50 pounder in here that I haven't caught, that I'd love to catch. And it's a great big fully scaled that sometimes does 40 pounds. And some other gorgeous fish yet to go at. So. It's not exactly a desert for carp, but I would like a new, I want a new wilderness, I want a new something. But I haven't got that. As yet. Right, let's turn you off and chat to you later when food's cooking and rods are fishing and stuff. Well, looking a bit tidier, and I've just decided on a spur of the moment it's going to be the first night under the stars tonight. Sod the bivvy, 
Got a nice, perfectly beautiful, warm, comfy sleeping bag. It'd be good enough, wouldn't it? And if it does get whatever, wet, probably only there. So yeah, at the moment, that's the plan. May change if I'm freezing later. <laughs> Good, doesn't it? Looks lovely. Bloody barbecue keeps going out. It's about three, four times I've lit it now, and now I've moved it down there to get some breeze. Sizzle, sizzle. Look at him. Half a chicken. Half a. Good, isn't it? Well, just had the shout from next door. Moz has gone and caught one. I see him out there in the boat dropping a rib, and then I see him poncing about, and then he give it the oi oi. How long was it out there? Two minutes. Well, by the time I got back to the bank, picked the other rod up and went back out there, it ramped off. Incredible. <laughs> Little 20 pounder. Happy days. Well done, Moz. Cheers, Dave. And there we go. Sunset on the first night. Morning all. It's about six o'clock in the morning. I feel like I've been up forever already. The planes last night was savage. They literally flew all night. You usually get a big break in the middle. And I'm right on the flight path here. I can see them coming through that gap between that last island. Fish wise, I've seen, I just spoke to Mozza. He said they jumped non stop in front of him last night, close in. And I've seen one in my swim, and he was about 10 pounds, <laughs> if you're lucky. We need a bit of something happening out here. Oh, at least the planes have changed their flight path. They've moved over a little bit. Not very far, but a little bit. I must have been on the night route. So, <clears throat> we're on the scout about. We're in by the barge. Having a look, very clear. The bottom looks like stuff's been in and out of here, but there's nothing in here at the moment. We've um, packed up from the other swim, having seen one 10 pound common jump out the whole time, and that was over there in the distance and I knew exactly where I wanted to go which is one of my favourite swims called Snags 2 so I was packed up, boated across there and somebody walked, gone in there five minutes before me <laughs> bugger which completely threw me so I don't really know what to do I'm just sort of boating about, walking about there's been hardly anything caught. I've chatted to a few of the lads. The only two people that I know have caught are Mozza and the guy on the end of the third island. So, so the, the two anglers right up that end, if you like. Oh, 
Oh, something's coming out. Shades on. It's an area I've seen quite a lot of fish in the past. This is this is really shallow where we are now down here. But generally smaller ones. And they don't often like seeing you in the boat either. They tend to spook off quite easily. don't really think it's quite warm enough yet for sort of under the bushes and in the shallows. I could be wrong. Been wrong before. We're going back sort of the way we came. I know what's going to happen. Spend all day doing this and end up in the swim of left this morning. That's the swim I nearly fished. Called the gap, I think it is. Because of this, which is the gap. So I've got to try and get through this little channel without getting my prodder or my rods or my canes tangled up. In the overhangs. through the dingley dell duck whoop still look at that hey what a driver and then back out this side again I just want to just show Something to jump, anything, anywhere. <laughs> right then, um, we're rushing against the rain. It looks up. hideous up there. But recognise anything about this swim? One up, one down. We're back where we started. Could have stayed there, couldn't I? Had a little kip, but no. I've been about five hours round and round and round the pond, finding spots, putting canes out, taking them back out, going somewhere else. I've been everywhere doing everything, and I've decided I quite liked it where I was. <laughs> I'm like a woman buying a handbag or a dress, and I. Right, I've got a new plan today after the hassle yesterday of lighting I decided briquettes ain't really the one for a barbecue they're great for the cob but um, not so good for a barbie you really need just charcoal lump wood charcoal but I've decided to try and make it self lighting so I've put it in a carrier bag about three quarters of an hour ago and sprayed a load of the old jollop on there and then left it to soak in which must be how they make self light in charcoal so rather than just being on top of it of course quite a lot of it it should be impregnated 
Aha, uh -huh, look, Mozzle turns up as I'm starting the barbie. Yep, yep. How you doing, you all right? Well, I chucked up the burgers on there. Yeah, I was just telling the people how I've made self-lighting briquettes. Oh, really? I, well, I hope I have. Oh, you're, you're not the best <laughs> of the about taking your head off. Yeah, I've doused them in jollop. <laughs> Right. Um, and left them for nearly an hour in a plastic bag sealed. Have you take... tried this before? No. This <laughs> <laughs> should be fun. Um, yeah. Well, let me stand back. <laughs> oh, it's only like lighter. It's not petrol, petrol. So we're going to see how this works. Because that was a bugger to light last night. You need... Um, Charcoal for those for a barbecue. Yeah, they're they're yeah. best for the cops, yeah, but are, yeah. um, but with this wind as well, I reckon it will go a treat. But we shall see. The moment of truth. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> It'll probably need another little squirt on top, a bit of accelerant, but it must have soaked all that into it, surely. I'll give it a little bit of encouragement. How long have you marinated them in that? Part? Three quarters of an hour. Oh, right, okay. I don't think it's crucial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, that one lit. You going? Yeah. Ideal. Just give it a little bit of a bit of a helping hand. Right, we shall leave that and see. Ah, we'll be back. Well, it's all going very, very well on the barbecue front. That um, little trick with the, the jollop on them coals, <laughs> unbelievable. Just a complete game changer. Because normally I'd use like I say normal lump wood, but it burns out really quick, lump wood. It's, you know, you don't get long. You get so much longer with coals, but it's light in the bloody things. But this is definitely the way to do it. It's 45 minutes in a carrier bag with a load of jollop. Days of happiness. Nice. Right, part one, Moz. Um, as long as this one's melted. Yeah. It's this time last year, we had, what did we have? Lamb or something? Did we oh, we had a whole lamb? joint of lamb, yeah. didn't we? you done that, that was blinding. Well, we've got garlic and cheese and what have you, mushrooms. We've got rack of ribs. And a big hunk of chicken, for starters. Have a bit of that sauce on there. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Hey? Look. <laughs> <laughs> cool, that's a big bit of chicken. Oh, they are, the, they are the absolute pièce de la résistance. Mm. Gonna have to have a close-up of that in the sunshine, I think. Look at this. Oh, where are we? There. Hey, that's barbecue, isn't it? With me new little Barbie. German stainless engineering. Chicken, ribs, cheese stuffed mushrooms. Yum yum. Yum bloody yum. Right, you don't want to hear us eat, so you lock the bugger off for a while. 
So, once again, we're on the move. <coughs> That's where we were. Just been down to see Mozza to nick all of his leftover supplies because he's going home and I'm decided to stay. Um, the swim I wanted to get in, I couldn't. Somebody else has already booked it. So I've got two choices that I fancy. One's along here. There's a little plateau out in front of a swim. I quite fancy that. And the other's over there on the sunny island uh, where matey left this morning, the end swim. Me and Moz just see a fish jump out right close in. But it's got a bit of a rep for smaller fish over there, if I'm totally honest. So it's whether I want to bite, or whether I want to more of a mission and maybe get a bigger one. It's not that cut and dried, obviously. But the, the higher percentage of smaller ones seem to always be around those snags on the far bank over there. Um, oh, how do we zoom in? Over there. <coughs> but the fish we've seen have been right close into that swim. The bloke who was in there had two in the end, but 20 pound and a double, so, or two, 20, whatever, two small ones. This gives you a sort of an indication, but there are fish, you know, still up this end. But the other swim's only over there. I don't know if you can see that dead snag just past that. Like a fallen snaggy tree thing coming out the margins. It's just, just literally just past there. Right, we made our decision. We are cage fighting. Very much fighting going on, maybe with the fish. We're cage fishing. We're all barricaded in. <laughs> it's a bit bizarre, I know. That's what it is. On the public bank. And this is our swim. got a big feature in front of it which I've caught quite a few fish off in the past mainly in the summer um, yeah there's a big sort of plateau out there whatever 60 yards something like that so I'm gonna fish two on the drop off this side and I'm gonna find something a bit closer in either to the right or the left here yeah. but it's generally not too bad 10 11 12 foot there is a deeper trough as you come back to bank Happy with them sort of depths at this time of year. It's a beautiful day. Glorious out there. And uh, can do tonight now. See what happens. Well, unfortunately, despite my very best efforts and a move. And sitting in this cage for a night and a day. Apart from seeing a few little ones close in, um, nothing's happened. There's no, not really an awful lot to film <laughs> sat in a cage like that. So I think we're going to bugger off and then return next week and try again, try harder try more and hopefully hopefully bag my first fish of the spring on the island lake that's the plan anyway see you next week so here we are back again on international star wars day apparently may the fourth be with you and all that and other associated dad jokes. We're fully loaded. We're heading off. Out into the wild blue yonder.
finally landed. We're in Snags 2, which is one of my favourite little swims. Um, I've been out there prodding and stabbing and going ahead <laughs> for ages. Um, I found three spots, well one I, I know anyway, but I found another couple of spots I'm happy with. And um, yeah, gonna get the stuff set up and we've got about oh, 15 seconds between planes at the moment so I'll talk really, 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 really fast. Well, everything's all set, now all we've got to do is wait. Um, it's quite a bizarre setup really, this, this swim and the one next door, this is Snags 2 and next door is snags one now i've never had a fish out of this one in the day i have actually had one once a little one in the day but it's generally been like night or in the i've had them in the day as in early morning but not throughout the day and right next door snags two which is just it's just the same margin at the back there but just through there um you get bites at any time of the day or night especially in the day um, a matey next door's just had a bite and he's got a very large common in the net so we're going to go down and have a little look so we've weighed the sling and that and we've settled on 49.12 I'm just going to come in closer, I hope I'm not in your way is that alright for you? That camera yeah that's fine, yeah. I'm just in the background Dave, you just go where you need to be, mate. Head up just a tiny bit. Go then, that's the big common known as leeches, um, and it's the most bizarre thing. It gets caught from every spring from one spot in that swim that's actually called Leeches Hole. <laughs> every spring, same spot. <coughs> Mental. Not the prettiest common in the world, I must admit. If I was to have a pick of any of the big commons in here, I wouldn't pick the biggest one. I would pick the next one down, which is an absolute corker. It's called the Redmire Common. I photographed it at 44, I think it was, last year. It was last year for Gav. Um, yeah, that is an absolutely stunning one. That would be the one I'd want. But yeah. 49.12, can't moan about that, it's a big old common, isn't it? New PB for Sam, so well chuffed. And I'm absolutely starving, so I've just lit the barbecue. We have an afternoon barbie. I haven't had anything yet today and I am famished. Well, the barbecue was going well until it started pissing down with rain. <laughs> so we have a rain shelter. Ta-ra! Actually nearly ready. The mushroom just needs a little bit, a little bit longer. Yeah, nice little lunch, isn't it? Got the chicken legs and the beautiful like, mushroom with loads of nearly melted cheese in it. Yum, bloody yum. Well, this is all jolly civilised. Just had a beep on my right-hand rod. That's the second beep I've had on that. Little liners. I've got no idea where along the line. But yeah, this is lovely little afternoon tea. Chicken and mushroom. Mmm. Ah, hot. Obviously. Be on the barbecue for the last hour. It's going to be hot, isn't it? Half hour. Oh, I hope we catch a fish. 
it seems like forever since I caught a fish. And it's now May. Best month of the year. Surely I've got to catch something. Six, something like that. But yep, so it's just four or five. Um, nothing happened in the night. I had one beep that woke me up this morning. Come on, Carl. It's May. Off. Right, I think we're on the move. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, yeah, I've just been out and checked my spots out here, and there's nothing happened, nothing's changed, all the bait's still there. Put the canes in. Um, Briggsy, who's two swims up from me, he's leaving in a couple of hours. Um, and he's had fish matey next door to me so I've got matey next door who had the big common and then brings his one up from that they're the sort of as it gets in front of me here it goes it comes up the bottom so they're the shallower swims and this is the deeper end of the channel and I think I want to be in shallow water although it's bloody freezing this morning <laughs> but the fish that have been caught have been caught on shallow and stuff so We're on the move. Again, as always. Oops. <laughs> I think we've just contacted a pike halfway in. Yep, I think we got ourselves a snapper. Best thing that could happen now is he falls off. He's not going to, is he? Oh, he's easily hooked, though. Don't, 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 don't. don't. We jolly well go. There's, <coughs> there's the barge. You can see underneath it how clear it is where they get under there, they get right underneath there. Obviously, already checked before I'm chatting away on the phone. I did see one in the snag where <coughs> you see them most, which is the other end of this barge. It's prime for them down there, isn't it? Right, <coughs> this is not going to be the easiest. Should have worn me a uh, GoPro on my head, really. There's the end of the barge. And then you've got that green bush there and there. 
just in that dip is where you generally see them but the wind's blowing me straight in there so I only get about one second before I crash into the bush because I've only got one hand spook anything that might be down there but this is where you, I can see one he's gone already now there he is there he is look come Literally, as soon as my back of my back, oh no, one, two, three, four, oh, oh god, there's a few here, and I'm just about to smash into the bushes, shit, oh well, there you go. slow on spot in it. Okay, <clears throat> finally, at about four o'clock in the afternoon, all three rods are out. We still got kids spinning off the bridge, all over me. <clears throat> he's been told by three different people he's got to go, but he really doesn't care. He just goes, yeah, all right, <laughs> and carries on. I suppose if you've got no recourse to the laws whatsoever, then there are no laws. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't give a jot. It's actually dunking a spinner between those cages out there. And the cages on the other side, and a wire fence that separates the two lakes. I said to him, it was a nice pipe with him, but I said, mate, how are you ever going to land anything? He says, I have done before. <laughs> All right. But there you go. He don't care. You for today, eh? Oh, I don't get involved in it. There are people that volunteer for a, a free ticket to deal with that sort of stuff. I don't come here to argue with people. I come here to try and catch carp. Get a nice suntan, drink a cold doom bar and have a good barbecue. Life's too short for rowing with people. So anyway, the fishing, the predictions. Middle rod, almost guaranteed by it. Right hand rod, yeah, fairly confident. Think. Don't see why not. Left hand rod, maybe not so much as the other two. I'm still in a goodish spot, but middle rod's the one. You wait and see. Right, look at these. It's a treat tonight. Lamb, which is, as you know, the most expensive food going. It's ridiculous. It was in the local butchers, and they had these big double chops. <clears throat> look at the thickness of them. So that's what we're having tonight.
Oh, lovely. Now, the barbie's probably a little bit hot still. Might put a bit of silver foil on there as like a base and start them off on that. Looking good. Remind me of something in shape. I don't know what. Crabs, alien space invaders. <laughs> That's what it is. Bloody space invaders. A video game. You know what we're living like, don't you? Eh? Bloody kings, I tell you. Living like bloody kings. Well, I think, as soon as I got up at five o'clock this morning, and the fact that I probably woke up at four o'clock, three o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock, midnight before that, I might tempt fate on the bike front and get my head down. And that might be the best plan, then I can be up at the crack of dawn again tomorrow morning. But I would like to hope that I will be seeing you between then and now in a floodlight with a carb. Um, I think that's what you call early morning carnage. Four thirty AM, two bites practically at once. One just went in the net. And um off went the other one. And here's the bizarre thing. I recast both of those rods in the middle of the night. I was getting loads of liners. And uh, at first I didn't know what was going on. And then I see three or four poke their heads out. A third of the way out. I've seen another four while I've been playing them two fish. They've come over here. I'm sure they were both in the weed as well. There you go. We've got two fish at last. Right, carnage just got worse. While well, I was setting up the tripod, the last rod went. I've got three. Three at once. Literally. Buses. That's mm. quite a bus size, aren't they? Taxis. Right, number two, which is probably the bigger, definitely the nicer one, the nicest. And they're all nice. Scaly faded. Still a young one, but. Proper one, aren't 
forgot what I said he was already. Is that 24 and a half? Is it bigger? I can't remember. Thank you very much. Taxi number two. Okay, number three. dropping a bait with a bucket and going over the scope and everything and getting the bait on the exact spot taking the lead up behind a stone and what have you little scoop of this and a scoop of that midnight change of plan <laughs> through loads of liners and short showing fish three yellow pop-ups thrown in the weed first light three bites at once You can make of that what you will. Sometimes we can just try too hard, can't we? When it's easy, it's easy. When it's hard, it's impossible. Yeah.
mad, isn't it? It's like fishing a different pond. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am under no illusion of what I'm fishing for. Um, the next bite is going to be between 20 and 25 pounds and not Mike's pet at 55 pounds or something. But it's good fun and they're beautiful fish. Mm. Why not? I can always move later, can I? The top is like mad close in. Obviously, why I was getting so many liners last night was literally they, where they were, where I was fishing for them, right across. I went out there for them and they came in here. Herds of them at about 40 yards out. Oh, here we go. Do we? Yep. How long had that been out there? About two minutes. Right, here we go. Mambo number five. There she is. Lovely old linear. Oh, got a little fatty as well. Nice though. Right, I thought this was a better one. Um, just over 31. <laughs> That's more like it. Not the moaning about any of the others because it's all stunning, as is this one. Got that red 
strawberry bar on the other side, like a stripe, faint. Reminds me of an old hair filled fish. I used to know. I can't remember what it's called. Strawberry or raspberry or something. I don't know. It's only faint. Nothing, 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 nothing. Blank, 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 blank. Seven cars. Not sure I've heard it yet. I'm going to slide this one straight back. What would I put on the mat and I look at It's a low 20 common. Oh, another one's just rolled out there right on my bait. Mental, absolutely mental. Well, sorry, I missed that one on filming. Um, doing other stuff, like trying to make a cup of tea. Um, actually, you might have missed two. What was I on last time? Eight? Well, number 10's there in the net. I had number nine was a linear, about 23, 24, guess. He went straight back. And number 10, I think, by the look of him, is the biggest of the lot. He's a good one. Oh, <laughs> number 10. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Feast or famine, eh? Well, this is definitely feast. Right, let's have a look at him, shall we? See what we got. Right, as. I thought, biggest one so far, 34 pounds. Nice. I'm actually 
hiding behind the van to try and get rid of some of that sunlight, but it's not, not really working, is it? That the worst sort of light. I'm sure you get the rough idea. This big fat mirror car. Got the time for breakfast, didn't it? Do you want to have mushrooms? I should certainly bloody hope so. Oh, my back. That's another one. 35 and a half pounds. Oh shit. I ain't moaning, but it's just getting a bit ridiculous now. They get bigger. Three of the last four have inverted, so the general stand has grown quite a lot. Let's change that setting. My camera's dark. Thirty-five pounds. Oh, session, eh? So, just 11 fish in one morning wasn't enough. Um, I had a little break, drove up the road, had to pick up a new boat battery, and then got back, slung them back out, um, and <laughs> in about 10 minutes had number 12. <coughs> there we go. The yellowy coloured scaly fella. Very nice. Pretty nice indeed. Middle of the afternoon, wasn't expecting anything really. I got one all the same. Ugh. Right, well, we're up on the bridge. Um, there's a bigger one. Apparently, all the big ones have turned up. This is the bridge at the back of my swim. There's my swim right over there. And I just had a little bit of bad news since it's six foot at night. Uh, they've just shut this end of the lake for spawning. Can't see an awful lot of spawning myself. <laughs> Apparently they're spawning down here. But I mean, they're gonna, I know why they're here. They're always gonna spawn aren't they, at some stage, but it wasn't my decision to make. But the big ones have definitely turned up, so it is gonna happen. There we go. You probably can't see them without a polarizing lens, but there's a great big one underneath that cage there at the moment, just about to come out the front. Not really sure which one that is. But these were a little bit bigger than the ones we saw yesterday. But the long and the short of it is, I've got to go home. Bugger. So, there we have it. The baits are in the butt rings and I'm just about to pack up. And if I sound dejected, it's... Oh, look at that one. Just came out right on my bait.
I am dejected because these fish ain't spawning and those ones like that one that just stuck his head out he's they're now feeding on my bait I'm walking away from an absolute gold mine this is the week you wait for all year um, yeah I ain't happy oh mind if they were spawning oh there's another one that's left hand rod this is mental I can't watch this I've got to pack up and go ta -da. So here we are, nearly home, 10 miles to go, 120 done, drive that I really didn't need to be honest, on two and a half hours sleep, but there you go, I'm not going to moan, um, didn't get time to have my barbecue so I'm picking up me and the missus a dirty pizza, and uh, that's the end of the session, good session, ended up a bit pear shaped, but at least we've got plenty of fish home. So, till next time, see you all later. Ta-da.